Right, welcome back everyone. Today I'm brewing up this Cooper's Canadian Blonde. Um, it's one I haven't actually tried before, but um, it sort of caught my interest because I was looking for something to brew. It was going to be easy to brew and it was going to be nice and refreshing, something I've been drinking straight out of the fridge on a summer's afternoon in the garden. So um, this seemed to tick the boxes for that. Um, I do like Cooper's kits. You know, they're always pretty consistent. You always get a good result out of them. You know, it's so easy to brew, it's ridiculous. So um, I'm not going to be messing about with this too much. I haven't got a lot of time for sort of doing partial mashes or adding any grains or trying to pimp it up. I'm not really interested in that. I just want to sort of replenish the stocks, get some beer in the bottles ready for the summer. So um, to this, I'm going to be adding um, 500 grams of light dried malt extract, 500 grams of brewing sugar, uh, just dextrose stuff. Um, so, you know, 500 each of that sort of is exactly the same as a kilo of brew enhancer. Um, and uh, I'll be using different yeast actually. Um, not there's anything particularly wrong with these, but um, I'm going to be using a USO5 yeast. Uh, I've seen quite a few people online kind of using this with this kit and it uh, seems like a good idea. Um, this is going to ferment out fairly clean and leave this nice and crisp, hopefully, that's the idea. And towards the end of fermentation, I'm gonna be using uh, some Victoria Secret hops as a dry hop, 50 grams, bung that in at the end, probably, I don't know, after about 10 days. Uh, leave it for a couple of days, cold crush it, and chuck it in the bottle. So really easy brew, hopefully it's gonna come out good. And uh, well, that's the plan. Yeah, so, that's it really. So anyway, enough of the small talk. Let's get it brewed. Right, what have we got here then? We've got the Coopers, Canadian Blonde Ale. Um, so this has now been in the bottle seven and a half weeks. I've had a few samples along the way and um, it's taken up to this point for it to start getting sort of quite nice to drink. I'll explain more in a moment. Um, so it was brewed very simply with pretty much just a brewing hole. So straight out of, you know, the extract out of the can. Um, I think I used uh, tap water probably with pure brew added in just to the water treatment. And um, yeah, I, I swapped the yeast out for the US 05. Um, and as you can see, it is lovely and clear almost lager-like in appearance, nice sort of light golden colour. I can smell it from here actually, really nice aroma. So dry hopped it with 50 grams of Victoria's Secret. Um, just sitting here, you get, I'm getting wafts of sort of tropical fruit off of it. So um, it's really nice um, smelling beer. Uh, you're getting some nice aromas from it. Um, as you kind of would expect from, from this hop, I guess. Um, so it smells fantastic. This sort of tropical pineapple, passion fruit, all those kind of things that um, are part of the kind of aroma profile of it. So as expected, smells really good. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a really nice beer. It smells like a really nice beer. What does it taste like? So it's good. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's a one can kit, Cooper's kit. Um, I like those kits. I think they're very, you know, you always get a consistent result out of them. Dead easy to brew. And, um, you know, they take well to a nice little dry hopping. Um, so I thought I'd use Victoria's Secret. It's not one I've really used, particularly on its own before, um, in a style like this. So. You know, it's all out there because, you know, there's no, the, the blonde ale itself is not really kind of anything adding too much to the beer, it's, you know, as a flavour profile itself. It's not very malty. It's, it's pretty just easy drinking blonde ale, as it's supposed to be. I think one thing I would say is it's quite bitter. Um, so it's quite... Is up there on the, the bittering, so probably not what you'd expect normally in a blonde ale. Um, it, it's got quite a nice bitter finish to it. Um, if you don't like bitter ales, then this is probably not the one for you. Um, so 
I mean, I like it. There is, the reason I left it for seven weeks is there's been a kind of a bit of a harshness to it. So um, by harshness is kind of like a harsh hop sort of um, taste to it. And I can taste it now, even sort of seven and a half weeks on. And um, having Googled <laughs> Victoria's Secret hops, uh, I've found quite a few people talking about the kind of that, that sort of harshness that you get from this particular hop. So it's apparently high in polyphenols and some of those can kind of remain in suspension. So I guess that's probably where that's coming from. Um, as with any kind of homebrew, uh, time is the best healer for, for these sort of things. So I'm sure if I left it for a few months, um, it's going to be a cracking beer. That harshness is going to go away. But to be honest, it's not something that's really bothering me. It's a lovely drink straight out of the fridge. Um, and it's exactly what I brewed it for, really, just sitting out in the garden in the sunshine and sucking a nice cold ale. And um, it ticks all the boxes for that. So, yeah, it's, it's nice. I mean, as I say, there's tropical fruits there. It's, it's got a sort of that piney sort of edge to it as well. It's, it's a bit herbal as well. And it's kind of, you know, it, it, all those characteristics that you expect from Victoria's Secret are quite evident. You know, they're, they're fairly strong. Um, on the nose and on the taste so yeah it's a good beer um, I'm enjoying that so yeah give it a try I mean it's a, I think that Cooper's uh, Blondales is a good base um, it would take to you know some various different types of dry hopping um, Cascade would probably be a nice one Citra again is an obvious choice um, I'd do it again. I probably wouldn't do it with the Victoria's Secret again, but um, you know, that's what it's all about. They're trying different hops in um, different kits. So that's yeah, a thumbs up for me. I like it. So yeah, cheers guys.